So it sucks because I, I know for a fact that I loved him the way, way more than he ever loved me. I haven't seen him in a long time, so I might laugh a lot. <laughs> When the fuck do you wear Vans? Can I wear Vans or what? <laughs> do you fucking wear Vans? Five, Five years. years. I had high cholesterol and blood pressure. What? Yeah, because that's what you gave me. High cholesterol and blood pressure. You're so salty. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we met through mutual friends. I was barely becoming a freshman. He just graduated high school. We would just all hang out and like get boba together and just chill and like, Richard was like the driver of our group. So every single time we would hang out, he'll like pick everybody up and stuff. And he lived kind of close to my mom's house. So he would always pick me off first or drop me off last because we lived closest to each other. I thought he was cool. I was like, he has a car. This will really come in handy if I ever need a ride. Uh, we met through like mutual friends. I didn't really find her that attractive in the beginning. And yeah, time passed and then I realized, oh, she's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I used to drive her basically everywhere to school to like get her makeup, especially makeup, clothes, to the mall. Man, it's like a lot of places. We, we started off like mutual friends and I didn't think you were that cute. We were like, okay. And then <laughs> after that, I kind of met you at that festival. That's when I asked for your number. I wasn't interested in him. The first thing he said to me when he approached me is like, can you buy me food? Wait, didn't you like him too? Did you end it up like This much. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. I think I would give him like a six, but it was still like good. But like, I'm giving it a six because my lady needs weren't always met. <laughs> like a nine? That was kind of one of the reasons why I kind of kept our relationship Are together. Are you giving too much detail? Don't give too much detail. So what did you say? I told him like it was like a two. I'm just kidding, I told him like a nine. You know what I gave you? What? A six. What? Mm-hmm. Let me just, can we do that no, again? No, no. I don't blame nobody, I don't blame him. I used to blame him. I blamed him a lot. And I feel like my current situation with my significant other now, the father of my child, sometimes when I argue and I lash out and I cry, I don't wanna start crying right now too because it's gonna get me upset. Dang. I say, oh, I blame Richard. Cause a lot of people know I got my body done. I got a, I got a BBL, so I got a new butt. And people thought like, oh, you got a new ass, so you wanna switch up and leave Richard for your new man. But that wasn't the case. I was with him from the start. Like he seen me at my worst and he seen me at my high. People think just because I'm on social media and I, I do this and I do that and I look a certain way, they think like, oh, any guy will be lucky to have you. Like, how come I can attract all these men on the internet that comments on my pictures tell me that I'm beautiful and all this shit, but I have my own fucking man not doing the same to me, you know? Like, what do I have to do for you to see me and look at me away, you know? So it sucks, cause I, I know for a fact that I loved him the way, way more than he ever loved me. I would say it's kind of mainly my fault. I know what I did wrong was, you know, I guess talking to other girls, which I shouldn't be. And also on her part, mainly like her peers her around her, like her friends that I told her not to hang out with, brought us into a standpoint where it's like, you choose your friends or you choose me. Uh, I mean, obviously it was both, both of our fault, but it was mainly my fault. I mean, talking to other girls, doing shady stuff. Mm -hmm. I did say that I did blame you for a little bit. Whenever I get into fights with like Tony here and there, and stuff, I always say like, oh, I think it's because Richard fucked me up. Like, you know, like I was with this guy for almost six years and like, he was like doing weird stuff behind my back and talking to other girls. So I, it gives me trust issues and stuff. Now I just blame myself because I was a fucking idiot for even like putting up with that shit. That's good that you took that initiative. Yeah. And blame yourself for once. I want to ask you, why didn't you just break up with me a long time ago if you weren't so happy? Um. I don't know, I just wasn't ready because I thought that we still had something
Once we have like a big fight and I finally realized like, I'm physically and emotionally drained from you and I was just like be mad and just like it just ruins my whole day. That's when I knew. I was like, if one person is fucking up my whole day, that's when I know something's wrong. Richard, you think I have like a to-do list and you think on my to-do list is to piss off Richard and you think that I do that every single day to you on purpose or whatever? You don't, but you test people and you try. Whatever. My mom didn't hold me and kiss me and tell me she loved me as a child, so I feel like that's like a mommy thing for me. That's why I'm so lovey-dovey with my son now. But with Richard, I don't know. Like, behind closed doors, I showed more affection. But I feel like, like I said, it built up resentment. You know, I felt like he didn't deserve that. So looking back, it did suck. He probably felt really small. Sorry. I'm sorry that I made you feel that way. It's kind of upsetting because like we could have just, we could have moved on, you know, be with a, a different person, but we kind of just went back. Every time I think about that, it kind of gets me like upset because I could have just did something else and just not waste my time on the negativity. There's sometimes I needed you to be like, that's my girl, I'm protect her, but. I wasn't even there when that happened. I know, that's the thing, where were you? So whatever. In the beginning, it was cool. You know, they, they, they liked her. And then I think midway relationship, like I think probably like two years in, that's when they're like, oh yeah, you should dump her. Or just like, you should not be with her no more. My mom knew. She would tell me, he's a nice guy, yeah, but he don't care about you. Like, you're so stupid, you're whipped. And I'm just like, no mom, you don't understand. I love him, he loves me. But do you want to talk about it or no? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like, you know, I was with you the whole time through your mom's thing and like when she finally passed may she rest in peace um it was just so hard richard because like your mom passed away and we were going through this breakup and i was so fucking mad at you but yeah i was still trying to feel for you and like be there for you i even thought about just staying together and trying to work things out because i felt like i we were being tested i miss like the little things that we used to do like going to target i know that sounds weird Went to the mall, and it's weird how it's like those are the things you kind of missed. Yeah, there was there was a lot of fun times all the time. We used to, um, we laugh all the time. Like she knows how to make me laugh. I know how to make her laugh. We were always jokesters. We always just you know talk shit on each other all the time. I don't really miss him as like a person, like having him in my life. But the one thing that I really do miss about Richard that he was always down to go anywhere with me. I will just be like, oh babe, let's go to Target. I wanna buy nothing and just go look around. He'll be like, yeah, I'm down, let's go. I miss kind of bringing him to some events with me because Richard's pretty social. He likes talking to a lot of people and he's a nice person. I said that I miss like, like going to the movies sometimes and like going to Target, doing stupid stuff, like going to the mall. Like we That's do. what I said too. Thanks for always coming with me. I know you hated it, but you end up liking it later on. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm really sorry for what I did in the past, but it kind of made us stronger and made realize within ourselves, you know, who to trust, what kind of person we, we are. And I just don't want her to feel resentment of what I did. I hope you're happy. I'm not mad at you and I don't hate you. I hope our relationship doesn't affect your new relationship. I want you to, you know, tell her she's beautiful, tell her you love her, say these things because that's like something he sucked at. What I said was mainly like, I don't want you to feel resentment or like, obviously, you know, what we did in the past is it's in the past. So I can't do anything about it, change it. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, I want you to be happy with your current man and your, your family and your baby, which I'm really happy for you. I hope you tell your girlfriend that she's beautiful and that you love her. I show more expression to Tony, felt like, cause I didn't really do that with you. Mm -hmm. So I do it to him now and mm -hmm. it kind of helps. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just hope you're happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You have to switch up, huh? Why do you have to say all that shit? It's mm -hmm. fucking annoying. Hey guys, I'm Michael. And I'm Kendra. Thank you so much for watching this drama-filled episode. Ooh, that was a lot of, of drama. Sides. Oh my god. Tell us your best breakup story in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.